Welcome to today's webinar, everyone. Uh, my name is Bree Reynolds, and I am the Senior Career Specialist at FlexJobs, and we're very pleased to be hosting this event today. We are featuring three fantastic employers who are hiring for flexible and remote jobs. And we've got today American Express, Aperio, and Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. Um, we'll be hearing a lot more from representatives at each of those companies in the coming minutes here over the next hour, but I do have a few housekeeping items to go over before we begin. Uh, the first thing is that this is a 60-minute webinar, so we'll be going for the full hour here. Uh, the Q&A that we do with this will be for at least the last 15 to 20 minutes of the presentation. So if you have any questions as we're going through the presentation, feel free to type those into your GoToWebinar control panel. And we will hold those questions and try to ask as many as we possibly can at the end. Uh, if you don't see your GoToWebinar control panel, you can look around your screen for a little tiny orange arrow. And if you click that orange arrow, the control panel should magically appear. So you'll be able to see that. Um, also today, the webinar will be recorded. That's actually a typo there. <laughs> the webinar will be recorded today. And we'll be sending a link to everyone tomorrow with a, a, a link to the recording of the webinar. Um, so that you'll be able to view this again and refer back to anything that you might have heard during the presentation. And you can also download a handout that we've put together for this webinar with all the pertinent information, the links uh, for each of these companies and where to apply for their jobs. That handout is available on the GoToWebinar control panel as well under the handouts section. And so you can download a PDF copy of that. We will also be including that handout in the email that we send to everyone tomorrow. So as long as you're registered for the event, which if you're here, you have registered, um, you will be receiving that email tomorrow with a copy of this recording and a handout for the event. Um, if you're having any trouble downloading that handout, just let us know. You can type in a question in the control panel and we'll send you an alternative link um, that you can try to download that handout from every now and then. We have some folks who have a hard time actually downloading the handout from GoToWebinar, so we've got a different link you can try if that doesn't work for you. Um, but the topics that we're going to be covering today in our presentation include uh, some trends in the flexible job market, common fields and jobs for remote and flexible work, just to get us all on the same page of um, sort of what's hiring, what career fields are big in the flexible and remote work environment, and what are we seeing as far as trends, you know, what, what's coming down the, the line in the next few years when it comes to flexible work. And then, of course, we have our company guest panel, which is sort of the big piece of our presentation today. We'll be hearing from representatives at American Express, Aperio, and Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. They're going to be talking about why flexible work is important to them and their companies and what they look for in flexible workers. So you'll have a nice little bit of uh, insight into each of these companies and how they hire for these types of jobs, what they're looking for, and how you can really make yourself stand out. And then I will be offering some action items and helpful FlexJobs resources, both for anyone who is familiar with FlexJobs already and for anybody here who is new today and isn't sure what FlexJobs is or what resources we have for job seekers. Uh, and then, of course, the last thing that I mentioned is our Q&A. Uh, we will be doing a Q&A at the end of the presentation. We'll try to get as many questions answered as possible. So again, if you have questions throughout the presentation, feel free to put them in the GoToWebinar control panel, and we will ask as many as we can. All right, so our employer guest panel today, just to give you a little preview of the folks that you're going to be hearing from. Uh, we have from American Express, Thomas Bobbitt, HBS Selection Leader, and Sarah Flynn, Recruitment Relationship Manager. From Aperio, we have Kristen Langwa, Senior Manager, Global Recruiting. And from Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, we have Rosemary Lemke, Talent Acquisition Recruiter. And so I'll be introducing all of those folks once again, and they'll be each presenting some information about their companies and why they hire for flexible jobs, uh, why flex work is important to them, and what they look for in flexible workers. And then at the end, you'll be able to ask questions of each of these folks about the flexible jobs available with each of their companies. So uh, just a little bit about FlexJobs for those of you who are unfamiliar or just want a little bit more information. We were founded in 2007, so we're actually this January going to be celebrating our 10th anniversary as a company. And our main goal is to list pre-screened, telecommuting, flexible schedule, full-time and part-time, and freelance jobs. So when we say flexible job, those are the different types of jobs that we're talking about, all of those different types or any combination of those. So it might be a telecommuting job with a flexible schedule or a freelance job with a part-time schedule or any sort of combination of those. 
We have over 60 staffers at FlexJobs who all work from home, and most of us do have flexible schedules also. So we are really, um, we like to say, walking the walk when it comes to flexibility. Um, and we really try to find those same sorts of opportunities for our job seekers. Since 2007, we've helped over 2 million job seekers in their search for flexible jobs. And one of the big things that we have available for anybody who's visiting the site, whether or not you're a member of FlexJobs, is our database of companies. So we have over 40,000 researched and vetted companies on our site that have posted flexible jobs in the past. Uh, of course, we have three of them speaking here today. And, um, and job seekers are welcome to go to the site into the research companies section and you can search that database by a number of different criteria, by company name, location, career field, so that you can find companies that have been offering flexible jobs in, uh, that line up with what you're looking for. And FlexJobs is a membership site, so because we pre-screen every job and company before it gets posted to our site, we are a membership site, so we're kind of 100% focused on job seekers and making sure that um, job seekers find only legitimate professional level flexible jobs. And so our, uh, we have three levels of membership in case you're interested. That's um, one month for $14.95, three months for $29.95, and one year for $49.95. And you can read a lot about uh, the benefits of FlexJobs membership and all of that on flexjobs.com. I won't go into those details um, unless folks have questions. I can answer some of those at the end. But there are also a lot of free uh, areas of our site as well. So if you... Um, are just looking for some general information about flexible jobs and you want to learn more, we have a huge uh, job search blog that you can use totally free. There's over 4,000 articles on there. We have our company database, of course, and then we offer webinars like this. So our main goal is really just to educate job seekers into the types of employers that are hiring for legitimate and professional level flexible jobs, which is why we are very happy to have the employers that we've got on our panel today. So first, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about what is a flexible job. Um, the way we look at flexible jobs is that it has to do with four areas. The first would be scheduling, so a job that has a flexible schedule or some sort of alternative schedule that doesn't um, stick you to a nine to five traditional office sort of schedule, we would consider that to be a flexible job. The second type is location, so something that would allow you to work from home or otherwise known as telecommute or remote work, virtual work, um, that sort of thing. That's what we look at as well. And then the status of you as a worker, so whether you're a freelancer or an employee, we definitely consider freelance jobs to be flexible. Um, there are also a lot of flexible employee jobs. They just have to have some other flexible component like scheduling or location flexibility. Um, and then hours, of course, we look at both full-time and part-time work as potentially flexible. Uh, if a job on our site is full-time, then it does need to have some other flexible component, whether it might be working from home or having a flexible schedule or something like that. So the bottom line when I'm talking about a flexible job or when our employers are just referring to work flexibility in general is these are sorts of the, the sort of main types of flexibility that we look for in considering whether a job is flexible or not. And the next thing I wanted to go over is just trends in flexible work to give you some idea of what we are seeing as we post these jobs and also look at a lot of the research that's being done in flexible work. And so in 2015, uh, FlexJobs saw a 36% 36, 36 increase in telecommuting job listings over 2014. So telecommuting is definitely an area that we're seeing grow. Uh, in 2016, we did some measurements over the last three years, and we found a 75% increase in flexible job listings since 2013. So over that three-year period, we saw 75% growth in all types of flexible jobs. Another good sign there. And in 2016, the Bureau of Labor Statistics found that about 13% of all workers are part-time for non-economic reasons, which means that um, people are choosing part-time work for reasons other than that they can't find a full-time job or something like that, where they're sort of being forced to work part-time. Um, these are people who are, are more or less working part-time uh, by choice, so for non-economic reasons. And so we like to see that as well, because there are a lot of really great professional part-time roles out there, too. And then by 2020, as far as freelance work goes, we have um, seen, I think it was in, Intuit study in 2013, and also a, a, a more recent study that I just read about in the last couple of weeks, um, estimating that freelancers will be more than 40% of all workers by 2020. So that's another area that's growing too. So 
whatever type of flexibility you are interested in, it does look like there's um, there's growth and interest in all of those areas. So um, we're happy to do a presentation like this just to get the word out and also put you in contact with um, some of the actual employers who are offering this type of work. So looking at some of the top career fields for flexible jobs, these 14 um, that are gonna show up on the screen in just a second here, these are the ones that we really see over and over again as being at the top of the career fields for flexible jobs in terms of the number of flexible jobs being posted to them. And so I show the 14, top 14 because these tend to fluctuate in and out of that top 10. But just to give you a sense of the variety of flexible jobs that we're seeing, I mean, it's everything from medical and health to education and training. Uh, and consulting, project management, all of that sort of stuff. Um, just because if your career field is not listed on the screen, I don't want anyone to think, oh, that's it, there's no flexible jobs out there in my line of work. Uh, these are really just the top 14. We look at over 55 career fields to get this sort of list. So if you don't see yours listed here, doesn't mean that it's not, that there aren't, there isn't flexible work available in your career field. Um, so that just requires a little bit of extra research to figure out what is out there for you. But there are just a lot of opportunities in different areas. And then some of the most common remote job titles that we see, this is for jobs that allow you to work from home in particular, which tend to be some of the most um, sought after types of flexible jobs. We see these top 20 uh, uh, job titles kind of over and over and over again on our site. Um, the way we came up with this was actually we asked our job research team at FlexJobs, what are the job titles that you are seeing over and over and over again uh, for remote jobs? And these are the ones that they came up with as far as jobs that are posted on a very regular basis to work remotely or to telecommute, work from home, uh, however you'd like to call it. Um, and so again, it just really shows the variety of options that are out there for people who want to work from home in particular. Um, and this is you know, only 20 job titles out of many thousands of jobs that we post to the site. So if you don't see your particular one here, the same caveat as the last slide applies. It doesn't mean that there's no flexibility out there for you. These are just really the top ones that we see on a very regular basis. All right, and with that, I would love to get to our employer guest panel today, which I know is the main reason that you are all here. <laughs> so uh, once again, we have three fantastic companies hiring for remote and flexible jobs, and they're gonna be discussing why flexible work is important to their company and what they look for in hiring flexible workers. So we're gonna go right in order here and hear from each of the employers, and then I'll have just a couple other things to bring up for everyone here on the call today, and then we'll get to the question and answer panel. So first up, we've got the folks from American Express. Thomas and Sarah, thank you very much for being here today, and take it away. All right, so thank you guys for having us today, and as Bree mentioned, my name is Thomas Bobbitt. Um, I'll first go over what you guys can see on the screen as far as our company was founded March 18th, 1850, so we're 166 years old. Um, our headquarters are in New York. Um, what do we do? And I'll say this as far as on the screen you can see we're a global services company that provides customers with access to products, insights, and experiences that enrich lives and build business success. But I'll even simplify it a little bit more for you guys in regards to, as you can see, the types of roles that we hire for, the role that we hire for is called a customer care professional. And in reality, that word care is the catalyst that takes our service or transforms it from ordinary to extraordinary. So what we're really all about is hiring the right people who can come in and make a difference for the customers that we get a chance to interact with day in and day out. Um, so it's definitely more than just being in the customer service industry. Um, to tell you a little bit about what we look for as far as in our part-time workforce, I will say this. We know, and Bree mentioned this a little bit, about a lot of people don't want to work part-time just because of financial reasons. In reality, we know that people want to work part-time, whether it's I want to be in control of my career, I want to um, build myself up to be that person I want to be or to be into that role that I want eventually five years, ten years from now based on my ability to work for American Express and then go work for another company, etc. But in addition to wanting to create this professional that you want to become down the line, we know a lot of people also want to do those things that they enjoy, those other things they have a passion for. Uh, but all of us would, would attest to the fact that we all need money. So you have to be able to make a living 
while you're also striving to live, right? So that's what we look for as far as in the part-time workforce. We want those people where we know you have other passions. We know there are other things that may be obligations for you, but we know opportunity where you can come in, work for a Fortune 100 company, a place where not only can you work and make a really nice living, but you can eventually grow as far as the different opportunities that we present as well. Uh, but again, the thing that we do look for and what we key on for everyone who's interested in this type of role is you have to be able to provide that care. That care is definitely what, what makes us one of the best companies out there. When we say that our mission is to be one of the world's most respected service brands, that what we do, that's what we definitely strive for. Um, everyone from our CEO down to the very newest customer care professionals that we've hired. Um, so what I would impart on anyone, if you are interested in this role, it's a great opportunity, but definitely bring that care and that professionalism with you. Now at this point, I'll turn it over to Sarah. Yeah, thank you so much for that, Thomas. Um, so I just want to talk a little bit about the types of jobs and flexible opportunities we have available outside of our home-based servicing role. Um, we're currently hiring for uh, travel counselors within our travel department. So if anyone has um, a couple of years of travel leisure booking experience and GDS coding, we have um, some great opportunities available that we're currently hiring for. Um, one of the best ways to stay abreast of the careers that American Express does have going on is to go to our career site, and the link is, is um, posted up here, and create a general profile where you're able to build out your information and tag the different kinds of opportunities that you're interested in. Therefore, when we are hiring, and specifically for our home-based servicing roles um, for next year, you'll receive an alert, and then you can go in and fill out that application. All right, Thomas. Else, Thomas? Yep. <laughs> All right. It sounds like you guys have uh, have said the the main things there. Um, so thank you both very much. That was a great overview of the uh, opportunities available at American Express, and we we'll definitely look forward to lobbing a bunch of questions at you in the uh, the question and answer session. <laughs> so thank you both for being here. All right. And uh, next up, we have Kristen Langlois at Aperio. Kristen, thanks again for being here. Thank you so much for uh, having me. I appreciate it. Can you hear me okay? Yep. You sound great. Perfect. Um, well, I'm really excited to be here today to talk about Aperio and the opportunities we offer from a flexible work environment, um, specifically remote. So um, Aperio was founded in 2006 um, by four founders who really came together and saw really the, the trends of uh, technology and really seeing cloud at being at the forefront of that. And, um, and, and here we are um, 10 years later and, and really being um, part of what was made the transformation from on-premise to, to cloud. And so as a company, we're a global services company that helps customers create next generation worker and customer experience using the latest cloud technologies. And our consultants deliver unmatched customer value by creating actionable strategies that deliver results quickly and help organizations adapt to new experience driven, um, the new experience driven era. And so we do this by, as I mentioned, actionable strategy, implementation and integration, change enablement, application development, and support and managed services. So our consultants provide a wide range of services to our clients. We have four offices. Um, our headquarters is based out of Indianapolis, um, Indiana. We have an office out of San Francisco. We have um, global offices out of Jaipur, India, out of London, Dublin, as well as um, out of Tokyo. So um, really exciting opportunities for um, anyone looking for a, an opportunity that um, is in the remote, um, you know, working from home and then traveling as need be to client sites. So from a global perspective, 42% of our positions are remote out of uh, 1,200 employees globally. So a significant amount of our positions are remote, 64% of which out of the U.S. are remote. 
And so when I mean remote, the um, majority of our positions, we look for those that can be located throughout the United States. Um, they work from home and then travel to client sites when need be. Um, and typically we say that's about 40 to 60 percent of the time. Now that really does vary based off of where you are in the project implementation or the needs of the client. Um, sometimes it could be significantly less and sometimes it's a little bit more. But even for our corporate positions, um, sales roles, really we, we do offer a flexible environment um, and schedules. Um, for example, from an operations standpoint and, and even looking at the recruiting team, where a majority of the team is based out of Indianapolis, we, we offer the availability for the team to work from home three days a week and come into the office two days. Um, so just a significant amount of opportunity from um, flexibility. And we really look at this, this was really the core of how we were built and started, understanding that, um, you know, we're looking for those to be a part of Aperio that are entrepreneurial, self-driven, um, really, you know, an, an environment that drives um, those, those types of um, intrinsic skills where people really can work from anywhere and, and have the flexibility to do so. So we offer um, amazing tools to help our employees do so, whether it be laptops, um, you know, MiFi when they're traveling, uh, just the ability to be, you know, flexible and have access um, when, when, when they could be anywhere in the world um, to, to work. So we just offer a lot of great opportunities to, the, to our teams to do so. Uh, when it comes to specific positions, um, as I mentioned, really, I mean, across the board, um, I would say almost pretty much 90% of our positions have a flexible option to them. And so, um, you know, within those positions, somewhat can be very technical and niche. And so we look for those to have the underlying core technical skill sets um, as well as really aligned to our culture. So the technical skill sets um, are, are just as important to us as, you know, being able to align with our, our culture and team where we look for those to, um, as I mentioned, be passionate, collaborative, um, a change agent, um, you know, also hands-on, and then also customer-centric. So really be able to go to a customer and, and adapt and, and understand the problems that they're having and, and help them solve them and really just engage uh, with that customer and, and really be able to provide that customer service to them. And, um, and so a lot of that really provides around um, our, our focus on customers, team, and fun when it comes to our core values and culture. Um, and, and how to actually um, find out our positions and jobs is you can find us on FlexJobs. We post, um, I think, a significant amount of our positions on FlexJobs, as well as you can go to our career site, um, which is posted here. And then uh, very similar to um, American Express, you know, please feel free to, you know, create a profile and, you know, select to learn about future opportunities if you don't see anything out there right now and be notified as things change constantly at Aperio and, you know, we're always adding new uh, positions to, to our opportunities. And then one thing I do want to add uh, real quickly is that we have some really exciting news is that um, Aperio, as of Thursday, just announced a partnership and um, that we are, are going into being acquired by Wipro. And uh, Wipro is, uh, is also a large um, consultancy um, that has a, a much larger significant global presence and deep vertical and industry expertise, um, as well as a commitment to innovation, um, as well as just an outstanding team of talented professionals. So we're incredibly excited to be able to bring Aperio to the Wipro team and, and really be, be um, you know, this, this powerhouse in the consulting industry and really just imagine, um, you know, whatever could be possible with combining the two, the two firms together. So we're really excited about that and, and just about the ability to even offer more opportunities um, that are flexible. So thank you so much for uh, listening to me, and I'll turn it back over to you, Bree. All right, Kristen, thank you very much, and uh, some really good information there about Aperio, and we will definitely be um, 
asking you some questions during the Q&A session. Um, just a reminder to everyone on the call today, I know we've had a couple questions about it. Yes, we will definitely be opening this up to questions and answers from the audience or from the audience to the panelists. Um, if you have a question, you can enter your question into the GoToWebinar control panel if you type it in. We won't be having sort of a live voice question option just because that gets pretty messy with about 500 people on the call today. Um, but we definitely invite you to type your questions in and we will try to get to as many of them as we can. So thanks again, Kristen at Apirio. And last but certainly not least, we have Rosemary at Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. Rosemary, thanks a lot for being here today. Thank you for inviting Houghton Mifflin Harcourt to participate in this wonderful FlexJobs.com webinar. I'm thrilled to be here. I am Rosemary Lemke, a talent acquisition recruiter for HMH. I just celebrated my 20th year with our great company. I started out in sales and moved into human resources for about 12 years. Recruiting was always my favorite part of HR, and I became a full-time recruiter for HMH in 2012. And it's just no secret, my absolute favorite part of my job is sharing my passion for the HMH company. So let me share some information about HMH, and then I will share why flexible jobs are important to HMH and what HMH looks for in flexible workers. Houghton Mifflin Harcourt has been around a very long time, since 1832. The corporate headquarters are in Boston, Massachusetts. HMH has a very rich history. Some of our earliest authors were Emerson, Thoreau, Hawthorne, and Harry Beecher Stowe. In fact, I just visited the corporate offices in June and actually saw Nathaniel Hawthorne's 17th century desk. It was very exciting. You probably used some of our textbooks growing up in school, but did you know that HMH is really a global learning company? Our mission is changing people's lives by fostering passionate, curious learners. We incorporate our mission and our core values every single day. Curiosity, commitment, effectiveness, reliability, learning, performance, and best in class. HMH built its reputation over the centuries as an educational pre-K-12 textbook publisher for both Basil, those core programs, and supplemental products. Our products and solutions are interactive, research-based, and classroom tested. And today, we continue to be the top publisher of pre-K-12 content, professional development services, and technology. We also have built a lucrative and prominent trade division with titles like Curious George, Lord of the Rings, Life of Pi, Polar Express, and The Hobbit, to name a few. HMH is proud of our four poet laureates, 14 Newbery Medal winners, 10 Nobel Prize winners, 17 Caldecott Medal winners, 15 National Book Award winners, and 48 Pulitzer Award winners. As a media company, we have been forefront in the digital world as well. We even use digital recruiting. HMH is an innovator with digital products, including a successful consumer division. And HMH is changing the way education happens in the classroom through technology. HMH has more than 18 million users of digital platforms. 100% of K-12 products are digitally enabled. In addition, HMH just purchased Scholastic's education, technology, and services business to help us provide added digital infrastructure and expertise to support the continued development of next generation products. In October 2015, HMH launched its first subscription platform called Curious World, an early learning app for children between the ages of three and seven. To date, Curious World has topped 1 million downloads, offering original and licensed video, games, and ebooks. And I'm sure you have all heard of two of our other famous products Carmen San Diego, the educational detective style computer game which launched into an Emmy winning TV show, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? and Oregon Trail, the most successful game of all time. It was abducted into the Video Game Hall of Fame in 2016. 
And if we continue to look at HMH by the numbers, we would see that HMH has been in business over 180 years. We have 25 offices worldwide and 4,600 employees. HMH has served more than 50 million students in 150 countries. HMH is proud to be first in the market share for reading, mathematics, and intervention solutions. So now you can understand why I'm honored to not only be an employee of HMH, but have the privilege of recruiting for this amazing company. For me as an employee, it is great to receive a paycheck, but it's even better to know that you are helping others be lifelong learners. HMH offers a very comprehensive and competitive benefit package, including medical, dental, vision, basic life insurance, supplemental and spousal and dependent life, AD&D, short-term and long-term disability, vacation, occasional absence time, 12 paid holidays, wellness credits, a 401k with a company match, plus a wealth of other benefits. HMH has a strong focus on corporate social responsibility and volunteerism. Right now we're in the midst of volunteer week at HMH. Employees receive up to 16 hours of paid time off annually to go into their communities and volunteer. Another reason HMH attracts great talent is because we offer telecommuting and remote working situations. We are proud to be listed as FlexJobs.com's top 100 companies to watch for remote jobs and again in 2017, top 250 companies with flexible jobs. So where in the world are the flex jobs at HMH? Working from home is not a new trend for HMH. We have had remote workers for many, many years, especially our field sales force. We currently have 1,500 home-based HMH employees, including some of our own talent acquisition team. We do have roles that need to be working in the office, like customer experience, but even some of the international customer service representatives work remotely. Whether employees work from home or in the office, they must still focus on delivery results and serving our customers. They have the same expectations and goals. They must be self-motivated, focused, collaborative, and resourceful. Other current home-based opportunities include sales account executives, content specialists, remote jobs within sales enablement like senior instructional designers, marketing roles, professional services consultants, and tech support, just to name a few. We have temporary, part-time, contract, intern, and freelance work. We currently have 891 part-time per diem regional consultants that work through a third party, and we are currently hiring for those roles as well. Why are flexible jobs important to HMH? Well, HMH believes in work-life balance. We have seen how flex jobs can increase that balance. We have seen how flex jobs can increase productivity. And like flexjobs.com has stated, it helps the environment by improving air quality, shrinking the carbon footprint, greenhouse, greenhouse grass, gases, saving gas, FlexJobs helps HMH lead by example, being a green company. And for recruiters like me, promoting flexible work opportunities, well, it's just an option that is very enticing to job seekers. What does HMH look for in flexible workers? We look for the same things in hiring all our employees. It really goes back to our company values. We look for candidates who remain curious and also enable and promote the curiosity of others, resulting in new ideas and remarkable discoveries. We look for commitment, in essence, a former track record where candidates have delivered and been successful in their past roles. We look for workers who are going to be effective and reliable, working both independently and on a team. We at, H we at HMH are passionate learners. We are driven by the promise of understanding new ideas. We're committed to improving teaching and learning all around the world. So we hire those who are passionate about learning and who we feel would be engaged in and focused on promoting that mission. Performance is important. HMH is driven to overcome obstacles and succeed. We look for go-getters, self-starters, candidates that have a sense of urgency in fulfilling the requirements of their role and know that they will be listened to, respected, and rewarded for their efforts in achieving those goals.
and the goal for HMH recruiters is always to seek out best-in-class talent. HMH is committed to providing our partners, our customers, and our communities with services and solutions representing the best our industry can offer. And to do that, we hire stellar talent to ensure that not only our business needs are met, but that we remain at the top of our game and the global, global leader in education. We hire flexible workers in both exempt and non-exempt roles. Many of the HMH sales jobs require 70 to 90 percent travel. We look for candidates who are comfortable with that travel requirement. Candidates may need to travel in or outside their region by car or by plane. It may include last minute or overnight travel. So we look for flexible individuals who enjoy that travel and are able to meet that travel requirement. We look for experienced, dedicated, quick learners, individuals who are comfortable with and can be productive working remotely. We look for talent who do not rest on their laurels, but are always looking for ways to stretch themselves to learn and grow, including in technology. We are an innovative company, so we seek talent who are problem solvers, critical thinkers, and innovative as well. We get our remote workers set up with resources from day one so that they can be successful. We have an onboarding program that ensures that new hires, including home-based workers, have a mentor who helps them transition into their new role. We have managers who reach out to new hires and welcome them and give clear directions and expectations so that open communication and relationship building starts from day one. As I tell applicants, I am a prime example of an employee who has benefited from career pathing at HMH. For flexible and regular full-time workers, you have the opportunity to demonstrate your work ethic and skill set, and chances are your efforts will be noticed in the company. As I guarantee, and I guarantee, if you come on board with HMH, you will come back to me and say, Rosie, you were right. HMH has great employees, collaborative, engaged, committed, just an extraordinary team. So if you are a job seeker who wants to work for a world-renowned media company and if you aim to spark a lifelong love of learning in others, go to our HMH career site, careers.hmhco.com, and review our plethora of opportunities. Thank you so much. Oh, Rosemary, you had me at Carmen San Diego and Oregon Trail. <laughs> I spent many, many, many hours of my childhood playing those games and some of my adulthood, I will admit. Um, well, thank you very much. That was a great presentation. Lots of really good information there. And now uh, that we've heard from those three employers, I just have a quick slide to go over with all of you um, for some additional resources. And then we will get straight to the question and answer session. So... Let's pop that slide over here. I'm going to actually skip through some of these. There we go. All right, so just some helpful FlexJobs resources um, that you can use, whether or not you are a FlexJobs member, um, as you're sort of researching these opportunities presented by these three companies and just looking for more information about flexible work. Um, the first is our Flexible Job Search Advice blog. As I mentioned before, we've got over 4,000 articles related to flexible work. A lot of them include how to write resumes and cover letters for flexible work, how to prepare for interviews for flexible work, how to do phone interviews and video interviews and uh, also in-person interviews for any in-person flexible opportunities. So lots of really good information there just in terms of getting yourself uh, put together as a really good flexible work candidate. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to mention is our free company guide. Um, that is, if you go to flexjobs.com, you can look at uh, research companies in the upper, the top navigation bar there. And that's a guide that we have to over 40,000 companies that have offered flexible work opportunities in the past. So it's a really good I idea if you're looking at different companies online and wondering if they offer flexible work, you can search by their name in our guide to see if they've off ever offered flexible jobs. Um, it's also historical data, so you'll be able to see if they've ever offered um, flexible jobs even if they don't have something that's being hired for right then and there so it's kind of just good to know in the back of your mind that yes or no that company is or is not a flexible company uh, and then you can also search by location for jobs so if you're looking for something in your immediate area you can search that way and then you can search by 100 career categories and subcategories so we have about 55 main categories and uh, a number of subcategories over 50 that make up our or just under 50 that make up our 100 total categories there so um, there's lots of really good information for um, anybody who's looking to use flex jobs for their job search
But without further ado, let's get to the question and answer session. So there are a number of questions coming in. Um, and the first one that I wanted to get to is about the uh, the jobs that are offered by each of these companies in terms of the benefits offered. I know some of you touched uh, at least briefly or a little bit more in depth about the types of benefits that are offered for your roles. We have a number of people that are asking about full-time versus part-time roles and the types of benefits that are offered for each of those. So if uh, you could each just go over an overview of the types of benefits um, that you offer for your full-time and part-time roles, that would be great. So Thomas and Sarah at American Express, I'll turn it over to you first. Okay. So as far as our benefits are concerned, we do offer everything from 401k, um, paid time off, sick time, of course, medical insurance, um, dental, vision, et cetera. So the benefits are really the same for our part-time workforce in regards to it matches up um, in regards to what's offered to what the full-timers actually are available to get as well. But the difference is, is the cost is different because you are part-time as far as um, the deductibles, things of that nature. But again, the benefits actually do mirror or match up the same way. Um, in addition to those types of benefits, one other thing that I, I always like to point out as well is that we do offer an incentive program for the roles that we hire for um, in regards to, in essence, we're a pay-for-performance company. The better you are at what you do, the more you can earn from the role that you're in. And, and that's something I like to highlight because it gives people a chance to do something they really enjoy, something they love, um, without having to work 40 hours per week to do it, but yet and still make a, a very nice living doing so. Anything that you would add to that at all, Sarah? No, I think you've um, done a substantial job. Even some of our health benefits, I would say, uh, highlight is our virtual um, doctor visits that you're able to do instead of having to go into a facility. Um, and then just the, the company really strives on uh, providing the best for their employees. And if anyone does work from home in a brick and mortar location, I know that there's you know, additional benefits that they would receive as well. Right. And one other thing I would highlight too, because a lot of our employees, myself included, we, we enjoy having things such as our healthy living coach where you can get in contact with someone who keeps you motivated on your, whether it's a weight loss journey or whatever your health goals are. Um, but programs like that help you without having to be on site or in a brick and mortar location. It allows you to still feel that you have that level of support that someone would get at one of the physical locations that we have. All right, thank you both very much. And Kristen, at Aperio, how about you as far as uh, benefits go between full-time and part-time and, and all the different roles that you have? Perfect. I would say a majority of the positions that we do um, hire for are full-time at this point. And we have incredibly competitive um, medical and dental programs um, that you know provide your, your traditional PPO as well as um, high deductible plans. We also offer a um, tremendous amount of additional benefits um, and a significant amount of flexibility when it comes to um, paid time off. So we do have, um, right out the uh, boat, we offer 15 days of vacation. We don't put a cap on vacation, so we don't have a program, um, excuse me, around sick time. Um, we just ask that um, you know we, we feel like our employees are responsible and adults and understand if something comes up whether it be themselves or a family member and need to take that time um, and just ask that you know if, if there's anything that seems to be getting um, too significant that they follow up with with their manager we also offer volunteer time off we offer um, up to eight hours um, annually towards um, giving back to whatever um, community involved volunteer um, organization our employees are interested in. We also have a silver lining program from a company-wide um, standpoint that is specifically around giving back to the community and providing events that our employees can participate in throughout the year. Uh, we have one day out of the year that our entire company just stops what they're doing and as an entire company globally gives back whether it be in the region that they're located, um, whether it be within the office that they're located, but everybody gives back that day. Um, so it's an awesome, awesome um, event to spend time with your employees as well as give back. We offer um, a, a 
um, money towards um, fitness programs, so up to three hundred dollars um, a year towards gym membership fees. Um, however, you want to use it, and we also have a program called Cloud Fit. That's a virtual um, fitness program that we have um, a trainers, virtual trainers, that really help create different types of, I would say, kind of programs, competitions um, that we can work together to hold each other accountable and, and really um, provide healthy tips for our employees when it comes to um, fitness and health. We also um, provide up to $175 monthly towards internet and cell phone. We provide um, all the types of um, IT equipment that you would need to be a remote employee. Um, as well as any type of monitors um, and additional equipment that you may need. We also provide um, just, I would just say, a significant amount of flexibility. Uh, we, we tend to understand if, if things come up and, and just ask that no matter what, um, that you know, if, if you're getting your work done, there's really kind of no questions asked type of environment um, depending on what needs to um, happen based off of the client or your project you're working on. Um, so just a significant amount of benefits and flexibility that we offer. Awesome. Thank you, Kristen. And Rosemary at Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, uh, what about the benefits that you offer for full-time and part-time uh, jobs? Well, I already mentioned that we have medical, dental, vision, basic life insurance, supplemental, spouse, dental life, AD&D, short-term and long-term disability, vacation, uh, 10 occasional absence days for urgent personal business or sick time annually, 12 paid holidays, um, 401k with a company match, wellness credits, um, so for our medical benefits, if you take a uh, health assessment, you have the opportun opportunity to earn $120 in wellness credit. Um, just a wealth of wonderful benefits. We have um, access to backup and emergency child care benefit, um, book discounts, of course, commuter benefits. We have our credit union, um, an EAP, Employee Assistance Program. It's very popular. We have an employee stock purchase plan. Um, HMH offers a Houghton Mifflin Harcourt scholarship for employees. We have matching gift programs, legal assistance, um, uh, home and auto discounts, uh, very important benefit paid parental leave, um, tuition assistance, and discounts on other amusements and movie tickets, things like that. Just, a, just to name a few, just a wonderful benefit package all around. All right, great. Thank you very much. And a number of people are asking about the actual application process, how you all conduct interviews, and what a typical application um, time frame would be from when somebody submits an application to when somebody is potentially offered um, a position and starts. So we'll go round robin again and go with uh, Thomas and Sarah at American Express. How do you interview people for your flexible jobs, and what is a typical time frame if there is one for the types of jobs that you're offering? You want me to start off, Sarah? Sure. Okay. So for the, the actual business interview, once you've gone through the screening process with our recruitment team, um, we have several leaders. So typically I'll organize four plus leaders to actually join into a virtual room in Adobe. And Adobe is just a platform that allows us to have a lot of people congregate and then I can create sub rooms within that Adobe room where you can join in for purposes of answering questions with a different leader. Um, so what I do is I've organized four different rounds for our interview process where each round is going to tell us something about you that's going to ensure that we understand whether or not you're the right fit for our company, the culture, and the role that we're hiring for. Um, so it's very action-packed. The rounds last about 20 minutes for each of the rounds and you get every opportunity to really convey to us that we are the right fit for you as far as um, the company that you're looking for as well as, long, as well as you getting the chance to show us that you're the right fit for us. Now one of these segments to our rounds I really like to point out is what we call a realistic job preview. Um, we're very adamant about making sure that you know that we are the company that you want to work for. So we're very candid about going over what the job really entails that you've applied for. 
Um, we give you we don't give you all of the fluffy and the beautiful things that sometimes are only shown on commercials, but instead we open up, we share it with you that, for instance, in this type of role, you may be in a uh, maybe a situation where the calls are back to back or your very first year with the company. You may not get all of the days off that you want, especially when you think about holidays and things of that nature. But we take that approach not to scare people off, but more so to make sure that you're, you are just as informed about us as a company as we are about you as an individual once you're finished with that interview process. Now, once you've gone through all four rounds where you get a chance to answer some of those competency-based questions that we have as well as um, answer just some personality-based questions that we've come up with for you and go through that realistic job preview, then it normally takes us anywhere from 24 to 48 hours to make our decisions about those individuals we want to bring on as part of the company. So we're, we're pretty quick about it. We usually get it done um, and extend offers, wouldn't you say, Sarah, within that, probably within the same day that we interviewed you, but we still get give that 24 to 48 hour time frame just in case we have some tough decisions to make. But what else would you add, um, Sarah, I guess you could say about the front end of the process before the business interview? Yeah, absolutely. So the front end of the process, um, kind of like I mentioned earlier, um, though we're not hiring for the part-time virtual roles right now, it's a great idea to set up your general profile just with the American Express website so that when we do post the requisition, you're able to get in there and apply. Um, after you submit your application, um, then the next steps will follow along and we have what's called HireVue, which is a video um, interview platform that's able to capture some questions live from you and then um, we move through the process and have an interview with a recruitment team and then as long as that goes well, the business then reviews the candidate's information and we move forward in scheduling interviews with the candidates that are selected. All right. Thank you both. That's really, really good inside information there into what the process looks like. Um, and then Kristen at Aperio, how about you guys as far as your interview process goes? How do you conduct interviews and, and what's uh, the typical time frame for um, somebody who applies for a job? Awesome. So we start with a recruiter screen. So we have you, um, once uh, our recruiters view the applications, um, you'll speak with a recruiter. Typically that conversation happens um, or takes anywhere from about 30 to 45 minutes. It's a, it's a very thorough conversation. Um, after that, the process then goes to either a culture um, interview or a competency. We sometimes mix the two. Um, or, or they don't have uh, one that comes before the other, but we do a culture then compensate that really focuses on do you align with the Perio? Um, will you, you know, fit in with the culture? Is it a culture for you? And then the competency is more focused on the technical skills of the position um, and really helping you understand um, what the responsibilities of the job will be. Um, afterwards, that is, um, if we keep moving in the process, we will have you speak with the hiring manager. And that's a combination of the culture and technical or competency interview to really just kind of bring the two together and then also give you a chance to speak firsthand with the hiring manager that you could be reporting directly to. After the hiring manager interview, then we do um, have of on sites. Um, typically, the on sites are hosted at one of our offices, whether it be in Indianapolis or San Francisco. Um, sometimes that's not always the case, and then we would have you meet with a team of our consultants um, kind of near a location that you're located. Um, so, either um, over a lunch meeting or at a uh, maybe sometimes a Regis office, um, we would have the team meet with you for in persons. We usually like you to meet with three to four people. Um, in person to just get a good understanding of um, the team. Um, again, it allows not only us to um, ensure that you're the right fit, but in, ensure that it's the right fit for you as well. And then after that, we really um, then make a decision if we're moving forward with the opportunity or not. Um, from beginning to end, um, the process can take anywhere from two and a half weeks to four weeks. We try our best to really expedite the process, but also understand many times we're, we're speaking with those that um, are currently engaged with opportunities, and so, um, you know, we're working with, with multiple schedules. Um, also, a majority of our interviews that we host, we do video interviews. And um, so a lot of times um, we need to make sure that there's times that um, you as an interviewer 
have the ability, excuse me, as the one that's being interviewed, have the ability to be on a video interview because we, again, want to make sure that um, it, it's a good opportunity for you to meet face-to-face -face over video with our team members that you're speaking with. All right, great. Thank you very much, Kristen. And then Rosemary at Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, how do you all handle interviews and uh, the time frame? Well, it is a process. So um, as applicants apply, uh, recruiters review their resumes and um, we review based on the criteria that is shared with us from hiring managers in our initial intake call with them, recruiting intake call. And we route resumes to the hiring managers and then they let us know if we can move ahead with them. At that point, the recruiters reach out and um, share information around um, the Hire View digital interview. We use it as well, a fabulous tool. Um, once they've completed the digital interview, we share that with the hiring managers. And if we are told that they're going to consider this for the this applicant for the next step, the candidate, we um, send them not for all of the roles, but for our sales, most of our sales roles, um, they take an assessment. That reveals a little bit more about, um, you know, reveals a little bit more regarding job fit and skill set. Um, and then after that, they are scheduled for um, an in-person interview or could be a higher view live because, you know, we are a global company, so many of our um, applicants and candidates are all over the country, um, so we utilize Hire View Live quite a bit, um, or it could be a traditional in-person interview with um, up to four interviewers. Um, and we, you know, we hire quite a few educators for our sales roles and many times they're involved in contracts so we have to sometimes wait for candidates to be available so it could take you know I'm saying like two to four weeks um, to get someone on board. Um, now for our per diem uh, part-time regional consultants they actually um, are invited to take the digital interview as well and we share those interviews with the hiring manager. Um, so that's that's pretty much our process. All right, great. Thank you all. That was a really helpful inside look there into the application process. And that actually brings us to the top of the hour. So uh, I, I just have a couple of closing um, notes to make here for the audience. But first, I want to take a chance to thank all of our panelists here, uh, Thomas and Sarah at American Express, Kristen at Aperio, and Rosemary at Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. Thank you all so much for being here and sharing such good information about your companies. We actually have a lot of thank yous coming in um, from the audience. I would like to thank all the speakers. This information has been very helpful. Thank you. Lots of really good stuff coming in. So thank you all for, for your um, awesome information today. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. And Thank you so much. Thank you. And for some next steps for the audience here today, uh, tomorrow you will receive an email with a survey. It's very quick. It takes about five seconds. It's just asking you about your experience and uh, your intention on potentially applying for any of the jobs that you've heard of here today. Uh, it'll also have a link to today's handout and to a recording of today's webinar. So be on the lookout for that email. It'll be here, it'll be in your email inboxes in about 24 hours. And then we do have two upcoming webinars hosted again by Flex Jobs on November 10th. We have a special webinar with our partner over at careerpivot.com on how to deal with ageism in your job search. Really good topic and lots of good information going to be coming from Mark Miller there. And on December 6th, we have another employer panel with American Red Cross, ADP, and Broadpath Healthcare. Uh, so very similar to today's event, you'll be hearing from representatives at those three companies. To find all of these webinars and to register for them and for all the details, you can go to flexjobs.com slash blog and then go under the Flex Jobs Resources category and you'll see job search webinars and videos. That's also where you'll be able to find the video of today's webinar in addition to getting the email link tomorrow. 
And we've put links to both of those webinars in the chat box too. So you can just click on that really easily here from GoToWebinar to find out more information on those. Uh, so thank you all again very much for attending today. We had a great group, um, really big audience, and all just very excited to have everyone here. Thanks again to our panelists, and we wish you all the best of luck in your job searches. Thanks a lot, everyone.